welcome back friends here we are discussing on the poem called the rock and the bubble let's continue here then the whales all laughed in their voices sweet and the sea birds looked from their rocky seat then the whales all laughed and their voices sweet and the sea birds looked from their rocky seat this is very important thing then the whales all laughed whales are laughing towards the bubble and their voice sweet and the sea birds looked from their rocky seat rocky seat it means there is a both thing are consider here rock as well as the bubble let's see next stanza at the bubble gay who angrily cried while its round cheek glowed with a foolish pride at the bubble gay gay means happiness here at the bubble gay who angrily cried while its rock cheek glowed with a foolish pride so this is a contradiction this is a contradiction between two two things here at the bubble gay who angrily cried while its round cheek round cheek glowed with a foolish pride the bubble has pride itself and the bubble has not given importance to the rock rock is only the useless thing in the sea but every birds and other has come with the rock but bubble is only beside and it is a very momentary it cannot so long time if the storm is there then everything will be lapse it will be collapse so let's see you shall move for me and you shall not mock at the words i say you ugly rough rock you shall move for me here the conversation between the rock and the bubble the bubble is requesting here you shall move for me and you shall not mock mock means it is drama at the words i say you ugly rough rock you are ugly rough sturdy you don't like any others you you are not looking nice you are a sturdy rough and ugly let's see next stanza be silent wild birds while stare you so stop laughing rude waves and help me to go be silent wild birds again the bubble is requesting to the wild birds while st stare you so stop laughing stop laughing stop laughing rude waves and help me to go these waves are not allowed to me go at the seashore and why you are laughing at me due to it is a little thing it is a normal thing in this existence for i am the queen of the ocean here for i am the queen of the ocean here and this cruel stone cannot make me fear so it is all about the tendency of the human being as well here it is disguising rock and the bubble for i am the queen here bubble is a queen of the ocean here and this cruel stone cannot make me fear this cruel stone cannot create any fairness in my mind let's see next stanza dashing fiercely up with the conspool word dashing fiercely up with the scornful word foolish bubble broke but rock never stirred so here the bubble has been cracked it is broken it why due to its little time it is a momentary but it was the pride to the bubble i am looking very nice i have glittering and so and so forth and the rock has laughed at the rock the bubble has laughed at the rock but 
rock never stirred rock has not moved from its place let's see next stanza then said the sea birds sitting in their nests to the little ones leaning on their breasts then said sea birds sitting in their nests to the little ones leaning on their breasts so this is about the birds you know this is a kind of nature and all the part related to the nature this is a nature poem he has created an imagery of birds sea nests bubble and so and so forth leaning on their breasts but not like bubble head rock root and vein but not like bubble head strong root and vein seeking by violence your object to gain so this is very important points are here that is head st strong rude and vain you should not rude you should polite you should respect to others and do not waste it do not waste your time in futile thing so you give value to each and every one seeking by violence your object to gain if you want to get anything in your life you do not become a violence and it will not satisfy to your mind let's see second last stanza but be like the rock here poet is suggested us that is but be like the rock we should become a rock steadfast true and strong there are qualities of the rock that is the steadfast true and strong whatever we have with us we should face it you can change your all the things but you cannot change your character that's why your character should be honest and it can be considered by others you should not steed far you should not be a pride yourself you should give value to others steed fast true and strong yet cheerful and kind so we must be true our own selves then you will do for others you should strong if you have number of problems on the way then you will face with your patience with your strong will yet cheerful and kind even though you are in the troublesome you should live cheerful happy and you should kind for others kindness is very important part of our life let's see and from and firm against wrong if there is a wrong then you may stand it you may take stand yourself you cannot make an adjustment if this is a wrong then you can raise your voice against the wrong if it is a truth truth is a truth truth can be accepted anywhere else so let's see last stanza of this poem hid little birdlings and wiser you will be for the lesson learned today by the sea so last stanza is also very important message for us it provides important message to us hid little birdlings and wiser you will be for the lesson learned today by the sea whatever we have drawbacks in our characters we should overcome it we should not have proud our own selves you should give respect to others elders small small one as well as great one it is very important what happen generally if the senior is there then it will be accept or they accept more from the their expectation is more from others similarly we should give respect to anyone there is no any small great big there is a simple funda give respect take respect no expect if we give then definitely it will be regain it or sometime it it is a less chance to getting again it but our character should be developed we should consider others value even though it is less or more this is not important this is a very 
most important poem for us and we get inspiration from this as a you should become a, as a rock you should not become a bubble it is a very little it is a momentary and bubble will be vanish very very few time but rock is a forever st strong steady sturdy and kind of for others so there is a little bit about the poem and it is a points to ponder let's see what are the points are included in this poem let's see for few minutes points to ponder ponder means to think on it whatever we have learned in this poem let's see the first test of the truly great man is his humility this is very important this is said by john ruskin the first test of a truly great man is his humility how you are modest how you are humility said john ruskin being humble humbleness is very important important part of our life humbleness kindness you should have this quality in your character then every person will come at your own way otherwise you are very prideful yourself then you don't give respect to anyone else no one will come at your side let's see being humble comes with understanding oneself this is very important if the situation is worst if the situation is not in favor you should not leave your humbleness and gentleness in your character truly great men and women are humble in their achievements this is very important truly great men and women are humble in their achievements so this is a history has witness of the great person they have humbleness kindness and others consideration even though they had successful in their respective areas so let's see an often quoted example of this is mahatma gandhi who in true humility described his life of extraordinary achievements as experiments with truth as we know mahatma gandhi has written book called my experiments with the truth whatever we have with us it should be real it should be genuine it should not artificial it should not be mock it is no coincidence that the mahatma was inspired by ruskin's landmark work unto the last unto this last the it was his humility and simplicity that helped gandhi ji it was his humility and simplicity that helped gandhi ji garner the affection and adulation of the entire subcontinent as the mahatma pointed out it is unwise to be too sure one's own wisdom it is unwise to be sure of one's wisdom this is very important if we consider oneself is great person wisdom good quality intellectual this is a misunderstanding this is a misleading to your improvement if you consider you are a great and you don't give value to others this means that you are not considered by others also let's see it is a healthy to be reminded that the strongest miss strongest might wake up and the wisest might uh, hear a true leaders lives by their principle this is most important point which is given by here that is alcott